person has been taken to the hospital after a fire broke out at an encampment near the steel bridge. And tonight, investigators say the fire appears to have been started by people who were living inside the area under that on-ramp. Fox 12 So Young Kim is in Northwest Portland with the details. We're here at Northwest Everett where firefighters say they had to use a modified sledgehammer to create holes to access the flames coming from inside those walls. People say the big scene near Northwest NATO Parkway on Wednesday afternoon caught their attention. A quick walk had to get rerouted to avoid some of the tape, the warnings. And say after making their way around the fire crews, the smell hit them the hardest. It seemed like I was smelling kind of uh, plastic to me. It was smelled kind of toxic to me. Portland Fire says crews received reports of a brush fire near the steel bridge Wednesday afternoon just before 4 o'clock and say 20 firefighters responded. Once firefighters arrived on scene, they say they saw smoke coming out from under the on-ramp and made several holes in the concrete to gain access into the walls. Crews say once inside, they saw flames and found some personal belongings had been burned. Fire crews say the tunnels led to individual living spaces and that people had even leveled out the dirt within the interior of the on-ramp to make it more hospitable. People riding the max nearby say it's sad to hear about another fire near an encampment. It's a homeless camp. It's a fire. It goes on all the time in downtown. The warmest shelters. It's cold out. They start fires when they can. Officials say ODOT was also at the scene to evaluate structural integrity in this area. Investigators say one person was taken to the hospital to be treated for burns and smoke inhalation. I think one person might be got taken away. Fire officials say crews had to go through an extensive decontamination process because of the environment they encountered at the scene. In Northwest Portland, So Young Kim, Fox 12 Oregon.